Hey there, and welcome to this latest Xenon product update. Xenon is the app that lets you export your Figma designs into Oxygen automatically. And in the last couple of days, we've shipped two big updates that are gonna really help your workflow when using Xenon. The first of which is the ability to auto-complete class names from two of the most popular frameworks for utility classes in Oxygen, those being Automatic and Oxy Ninja Core. So what will happen is whenever you select one of these two frameworks, as you type in class names, it will suggest the names for you. This is very similar to the behavior in Oxygen, and this will allow you to more quickly add classes to your elements before you export them. So when you load up in Oxygen, things just look even more complete. The next big update is that images inside of your Figma file are now carried over through your export into Oxygen. These images are hosted, of course, on Figma servers, so what you're going to have to do is swap them out. But when you load your Oxygen site, now you're gonna see the real images there instead of just placeholders. So it makes everything feel more real and alive. And Figma gives you 30 days before your images expire, so you're able to use that for a little while. So what I wanna do is go ahead and show you both of these updates. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is grab my document ID. Inside of Xenon, I'll go ahead and paste this in. I'll choose the automatic framework and then we can click on continue. So at this point, this is where you would choose what elements you want to export. So in my case, I'm pretty much gonna take the entire page wrapper. And if I click that tick box, then of course it's going to select everything underneath it. Now, if I click in a classes field and start typing something like the word flex, you can see that I now have all of those class names with the word flex at the beginning. I can scroll through them with my keyboard arrows and just simply press enter. To add more than one class name, you can just add a comma and start typing again. So let's say this time I want margin, then I could add you know, margin top like that. If you're going to be using these utility class frameworks, you definitely want to pay attention to this ignore Xenon style mapping button. Now this is going to ignore all of the Figma styles such as color, spacing, alignment, and those sorts of things. And instead that will all be handled by your classes. In our case, for the sake of this video, I'm actually not going to use any classes and I will keep the styles. So what I'll do at this point is just go ahead and click on generate shortcode. And here is our exported shortcode. So I'll just click anywhere to copy them to my clipboard. I'm going to come over to an oxygen template or page. I'll expand the plus shortcodes box, paste that in, update, and then we'll click on edit with oxygen. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see that these are our images and they now show up inside of Oxygen Builder. Again, these are links from Figma and they host them on Amazon AWS. So this is a temporary link. They last about 30 days. So you, you will want to go ahead and swap them out, but at least when you load into Oxygen, all of the images are there. So I now have all of these icons. I have my hero image and I have my logo image all automatically ed added into the page for me. So this just makes everything feel more alive and more real. And we're super excited about this update. Now, one workflow thing I wanted to mention is that if you notice in my example document here, I actually have a page wrapper that contains all of the children of this particular page. The reason why I do that is in Oxygen, what I'm typically going to do is on my page wrapper div, I would give it a class of max width. And then on this max width class, I'm going to set the width to 100%. I'll change my max width to whatever I want the actual page width to be. So let's say like 1220 pixels, and then we'll go with margin left and right auto. Now on this div here, there's some extra padding that's being carried over from our layout in Figma. So I'll just go ahead and remove that and we'll take a peek on the front end real quick. So if I save this and just load this up. And so here's the front end view of what we just exported in Figma through Xenon and got it into Oxygen in a matter of minutes. At this point, I would probably start focusing on things like your responsive layout and maybe adding some classes wherever you want those. But you can see how quickly a completed layout starts to come together in Oxygen. If you have any questions, definitely let us know or visit the link in the description below to find more information. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in a future video.